What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nostantoski here of Mason Brew, bringing you another hockey highlights video. University of Michigan took on Penn State Nittany Lions in game two of their series. This was this past Thursday, I believe. Ugly game. Ugly, ugly game. Michigan lost this one 9-5 to five to split the series against the Nittany Lions. They fell to 5-3 and three on the season. This was Penn State's first win of the season as well, so not how you want to draw it up. So let's just dive right into the highlights. Let's get this through, right? Um, first of all, I won't mute the audio for this first clip, but I'm going to mute for the rest of the audio, and believe me, you'll know why after I play this. So this guy just was a screamer, McScreamerson, but uh, I don't know how this goal got past Strauss Mann. Uh, pretty impossible angle. Somehow beat him to the short side here. Uh, not a good way you want to start, especially within the first minute of this game, right? Here's about two minutes into this game. Puck goes behind the net here for Penn State, drops it off in front, and he picks up another goal here. So Michigan gets himself down 2 nothing within the first two minutes and 30 seconds of this one. Not what you want to see. Just about 10 seconds later, though, Blankenberg with great speed up the right wing. Uh, nice wrist shot here to get it past Audio, the goalie for Penn State and Michigan, just like that, is uh, within one goal. Um, big penalty coming up here. So watch the boards near the bench for Penn State here. Moyle right there. It's a shot to the head. This is going to be a five-minute major. And because it was a shot to the head, Nolan Moyle is kicked out for the rest of the game, I believe. Um, so right there, hard to disagree with that one. It's just unfortunate. You can see here he is um, getting out here. And that gives five minutes for power play for Penn State. Not great. Um, Michigan actually defended this pretty well. Uh, this was probably the best chance here. A couple flurry of shots for man. Um, there's another one here uh, towards the ladder of this power play. Number nine puts out in front, and Strauss Mann's able to poke that away. So a successful penalty kill there. Um, Penn State was able to keep the pressure on, though, a few shots here that man defends pretty well. Um, so, you know, give them credit. There was a lot of pressure from Penn State early, and Michigan was able to uh, get that out of there without a goal. Uh, here's a penalty uh, against Luke Morgan entering the zone here. That's interference. So Michigan's going to get put on the power play. Good shot here from Passageov up in front. Can't get it past there. Later in the power play, though, Blankenberg gets his second goal of the game here with a nice wrist shot there. Somehow gets through the traffic. You'll see there's a couple guys in front of the net here. I don't know how he found an alley there, but that uh, ties the game up. Um, Here's a puck in front of the net. Um, it trickles behind the goalie right here after that initial shot, and the Penn State defender is able to get it out of there. I'll pause right there. You can see the puck. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the puck right here, right here. And you have both Johnson and the defender poking at it here. Johnson's just a hair late here. If he was a half second earlier or a millisecond earlier, he might be able to tip that one in. Instead, it's a clear, so that was a close chance here. Uh, we're on here into the second period. Cam York goes top shelf here off the backhand. Nice little stick handling there. Tough shot from the right wing here. Able to sneak it past audio top shelf. Again, just elite shot there from Cam York. Michigan finds himself in the lead 3-2. to two. That was a nice pass from Beecher as well to set York up there. Penn State on power play here. Uh, Granowitz uh, interference. Uh, so that'll put man advantage for Penn State. Hard to disagree with that one. Penn State converts past the left wing. No one there to account for him. You can see right here that pass. There should be one more replay here. Uh, just a good pass here. You can see that Michigan had, I believe this is Cam York accounting for 19 with his potential shot here. But there's a lane right here behind York uh, for this guy, number 20. No one accounts for him. He's able to get the puck, has a second, and puts it between the post and Strauss Mann. And again, they get the lead back up. Sloppy defense here. Man is able to cover up uh, after the shot near the blue line from 22 here. Um, but you got some tempers flaring. We'll see some more theatrics later on in this game. But this is really the start of some of these theatrics. Uh, really good pass here to Bordalo up on the right side. He's able to put in a wrister past audio. And Michigan gains the lead 4-3. to three. Uh, Brisson was the one with a really nice pass from his own zone. One minute later, Penn State. Answers right back. Again, more poor defense for Michigan. Initial shot was blocked by power, but it opens up the passing lane to number six backside. You can see he gets the puck back, able to pass here because you have a fallen power here. This passing lane was open, and again, Strauss Mann just 
hard for him to do any better than this with how much space was open there. Uh, but again, anytime the Michigan had an advantage here, Penn State answered right back. So shout out a shot out front here uh, for Penn State. Uh, passage off gives him a shot there at the end of the play, and then he takes out <laughs> like he just takes a shot at Ciccolini there. Only passage off somehow gets a penalty for that. Uh, Penn State on the power play able to convert here. Uh, you can see behind the net, here's the puck, it's, it's going across number 18, and he's going to get a pass to the front of the net that gets tipped in somehow. I don't know exactly how this one snuck past man. Um, but it's definitely deflected from this shot from the right wing. That guy out front got a stick on it, somehow got past man and trickles in. And that's 5-4 Nittany Lions. Um, just a crazy one, right? Already nine goals in this. About 20 seconds later here, we got another goal. <laughs> this one's a little bit harder to follow, but uh, Michigan can't get the puck out of their own zone. There's a couple passes back and forth, and uh, it's in the back of the net. So, again, we can't even really see from this angle. We'll do this one extra angle here. As you can see, shot from the blue line, so the puck is right about up here. It's going to get tipped right here from Beniers, I believe. Uh, Beniers and Truscott are there. So there's the tip. You can see that the puck is tipped here. It's coming over to Blankenberg and this other offensive player here. So it's going to come here, and then it's somehow going to get tipped and redirect here. So you have Man who is following the puck. He's going to shift this way because of this potential uh, attack here. And then he's just out of position. That leaves an open net here after this second redirect there. And the Penn State guy is just ready to tap that in. And just like that, he got Michigan down 6-4. to four. So, again, Michigan in their own zone. Beniers gets his pocket picked. Uh, Portillo's in the net now. Um, he's able to defend this one initially. Uh, so, you know, first shot for him doing well. Um, and then you have a cross check into the boards from power. That puts Penn State on yet another power play right just can't be doing that throughout the game and, and penn state was continually man advantaged throughout this game uh initial blocker here from portillo again blocks again can't corral the rebound though so backhand from the right wing is able to sneak past with an additional shot there you'll see here portillo right there he just can't corral it. it's able to sneak past and there's the offensive player for penn state able to sneak that in 7-4, and uh, it's now in the third period, and time is running out here. Uh, another penalty you can see on the boards here, Summers. I'll point him out here. He's kind of holding them, hooking them. I'm not exactly what the penalty call was here, but uh, he was definitely holding him and brought him down to the ice. So there's another man advantage. And this one was a successful penalty kill. Only uh, one real chance for Penn State there, nothing special. Luke Morgan with a good speed and shot on the left wing there. Um Continuing to apply pressure. Power with a shot there. Blankenberg with his own shot. Just wide. Uh, so Michigan was applying pressure. Great chance for Granowitz uh, right there in front. The audio is able to get under his pad. Um, and then Michigan continue to apply pressure. Um, and really excellent puck movement there. Bordelo back to, who was that? Back to Brisson. Boom, right back at him. Nice move in front of the net. Able to put in the backhand. That's a really well well designed play i guess you could say but uh just great puck movement overall michigan you know kept applying pressure down seven five running out of time empty netter though uh under two minutes here um from the corner number 12 just puts it down the ice and that's going to pretty much seal it right down two and then you're about 30 seconds left here penn state's able to get the puck in front right wing portillo didn't really stand a chance on this one um, so it's ugly at this point, right? <laughs> you score five goals if you're Michigan, and you, you almost get doubled up from a winless Penn State team that's never good. We're about 10 seconds left here. There's uh, some shots up front, Portillo covers, and then there's just some extracurriculars, right? Obviously, emotions running high. You got guys 16 just, like, going right at the net. Um, just pretty ugly. I wasn't – I honestly don't know all who got penalties here. I know there were, like, three guys for Penn State in the box – to end this game but uh yeah just don't want to see this like you get it because emotions are running high you lose pretty poor like this is by far Michigan's worst loss this season so it's understandable but like number 16 comes Snell just comes right at Blankenberg there in front of the net it's just pretty uncalled for and pretty ugly don't like to see that in hockey overall so yeah I mean it, it's it's a super ugly game for Michigan. Defense simply wasn't good enough. Man wasn't perfect, um, but the defense really didn't set him up well. Portillo was fine. 
but uh, at that point, the game was pretty much already over. Michigan ab- actually did win the Corsi. I'll put up the stats there, but they lost like 21 to 5 when it came to the Corsi for power plays, and that's just because of the sheer number of power plays that Michigan gave uh, Penn State, and you're just not going to win with that, right? Um, so, you know, Michigan can hopefully bounce back against a really good Minnesota squad coming up, I believe, Tuesday of this week. They're playing against Minnesota. Uh, those are the last two games on the schedule, so hopefully they can bounce back there. But this went on long enough. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're now over 2,000, so I appreciate all your support. And beyond that, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. As always, go blue.